Howdy folks, welcome back to another video. This time we're in a set of Corsa for a quick AI based race. We've got five laps at Monza against 19 other 2021 cars. Now we ourselves are in the brand new livery just released by Alfa Romeo just today to coincide with the Grand Prix weekend at Monza. And it looks amazing. Uh, so I decided to stick this livery on the car, just download it, and just to have a go against the AI on Monza since, I mean, it's the weekend that's in it, right? All the mods, used in this video are available in the description down below. Some of them are premium paid mods and then some others are free. But of course, feel free to scroll down and have a look at them yourselves. Uh, but they're just awesome. Of course, if you like this video, feel free to scroll down. Also hit that like button. And if you want to see more like this, hit that big red button, subscribe to the channel, be much appreciated. But let's just jump straight in. I'll describe the mods as I go through. Five laps at Monza against AI, let's go. Alrighty, here we go boys, five laps of Monza. So the AI are doing some crazy things around here, so I want to keep an eye on these for the first few corners at least. But as I said, we're going to go through all of the mods being used in this as we go through the race here. Not the best start from us, but we've nowhere to go. Got Russell in front of us. T1, as per usual, is going to be a parking lot. So we just want to be patient here, wait our turn. Slowly make our way around. We don't want any contact, we don't want damage. As I stupidly do, we still have damage turned on. Good exit there, down to second chicane. I think we'll pass that McLaren. Well, how good does this game look? I mean, we've got Sol and custom shaders patches, standard installed, and it just completely transforms how this game looks. It just looks so fresh. I mean, you could easily mistake this for F1 2021. A little bit of a traffic jam there. Into Lesmo 1, try to keep the speed. A little bit wide, we missed the apex. Oh, they've got contact. So we're racing in the Racing Studio 2021 Hybrid. This is a premium mod. Costs a couple of bucks, but in my opinion, well worth it. It's an amazing mod and just drives so well. So much fun to drive. And to be honest, I bought F1 2021 when it came out. And I don't miss it one bit when I play with these cars in a set of Corsa. I really, really don't miss it. Obviously, it's a completely different game and can't really be compared, but this provides the same immersion, same experience, in my opinion. These mods are just amazing. We also have an updated skin on Monza. As you'll see with all of these Heineken liveries, the Rolex, uh, DHL banners, everything there is a... Oh, I forgot to turn on DRS. Is an updated skin for Monza that we got for absolutely free off of Race Department. And it just completely transforms the track. As obviously the original Monza on a set of Corsa was a little bit dated. So this skin was created to coincide with Monza last year, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but it just completely updates the track, just makes it look a lot fresher. And obviously racing these modern F1 cars around, I wanted to try... Oh, we've got a... Ma we've got a... Probably Mazepin in the corner there. But it just makes the track look amazing and really, really brings it to life. And of course, I can't get away without talking about the TV HUD display. It just looks amazing. You'll even see when I turn on the DRS here, you see the DRS active pop up on it. But this is modeled on the 2020 TV display for F1 coverage. And it is again a premium mod, costs just a couple of quid. I think it was six, six dollars. Um, but just looks amazing. And I mean, in comparison to the standard set of course, a hood display, it just brings it to life. Obviously wouldn't work for any other cars other than the the newer Formula 1 cars with the Halo display. But it just looks amazing. Well worth it in my opinion. You'll even see on the left hand side there we've got the lap and positional counter. And the fastest lap one up above as well. It all comes as part of a pack. Actually the position and fastest lap one come as part of a pack. And then the hood display is separate. Or the hood uh, Halo one is separate but only a couple of quid each. So well worth it in my opinion. Where are we? We're currently in P14. So not doing the best, but we are in an Alfa Romeo. So that's my excuse at least. But this new Alfa Romeo livery just looks amazing. I was so surprised to see it available so quick on race department. I think when it was announced, someone just popped in and, and made a quick edit to an existing Alfa livery. But it just looks amazing. Obviously we can't really see it here. Well, we can't see it at all in this in this view, but that's really not what the video is about. I just wanted to uh, get into Monza, do a quick AI race, 
in the updated cars with all these mods in place i think you'll agree that a set of course it just looks amazing i mean when you compare it to modern sims it's right up there with them it looks just as good it drives just as good the force feedback model is great uh, it has everything you need if you're willing to download stuff like content manager get different mods in place uh, it really really brings this title to life I see a lot of videos recently comparing a set of Corsa, um, a set of Corsa footage to F1 2021, and to be honest, it can't really be compared in that way. They're two completely different animals, two completely different games, and they're made for different reasons, I think. Whereas this is a pure simulator, this is meant to try and give you the sense of driving these cars as closely as possible. Whereas F1 2021 is made for a little bit more of a broader audience, it's not as niche, so they can't be compared, but I think looks-wise, this just, it's right up there with it. It looks so fresh, it looks so new, even though this game is one of the older sims, it just looks amazing. And especially coupled with these mods with these custom shader patch and, and sol weather effects and these updated track skins and, and car mods and liveries and, and everything and these HUD displays just... It just looks fantastic and just makes me it just makes me feel like I'm playing a brand new game. Uh, it doesn't make it feel like this is years old and that I'm I'm still hanging on to it after all these years. I'm still going nowhere, I'm still not any faster, but uh I still enjoy it and I think that's the main thing. That's what people look for. Is you just want to enjoy it as we come around to the final lap. I'm gonna try to keep our position here. I don't think we're gonna be gaining any more positions. Ocon's in the lead again. He's going to win his second race of the year, I think, by the looks of it. Max Verstappen with the fastest lap. These graphics just look amazing. Especially this Halo display. It just... I wish that they had that in F1 2021. I'm so surprised that they don't. Or at least not in my uh, memory that they do. Maybe they do, but... I have not seen it yet. So I stand to be corrected on that one if it is. But, um, yeah, it just looks so good. I'm super excited for Monza this weekend. It's always been one of my favorite races and always one of my favorite tracks in, in any sim that I race. I think it earns a bit of a bad rep for all of the dodgy driving and accidents that go on. Oh, we've got a Ferrari. Just avoided him. That's a position taken for us. We've got another car off. That's an Alpine. Who's that? We've got DRS on. We've got another car that was involved there just ahead. We're going to pick up a couple of places here before the race ends, I think. Oh, how much fun is this? It's so immersive. It's so much fun. The car feels amazing. It just looks great. And I just really wanted to do a quick video just to show how good a set of Corsa can look when you've got these things in place. And if you're looking for a premium F1 experience, uh, look no further. Coming to the end of the race, what position did we end up? 12th place for an Alfa Romeo, that's that's not too bad in my eyes. So that was a lot of fun. I actually really enjoyed making that, even though it was just against AI. It just goes to show how much fun you can have in a sim when you put everything in place and you get all these mods together in something like a set of Corsa. It just completely transforms the experience of the game. It makes it so much fun to drive, especially as a huge Formula 1 fan like myself. I like the Formula 1 2021 game, but I don't like some aspects of it which i do like about a set of corsa so being able to almost replicate it and even better replicated in a set of corsa is just phenomenal to me and i seriously recommend going down to the description checking out all of these mods the premium and the free ones checking them out for yourself it's well worth a couple of quid if you're willing to spend the money on it so thanks a lot for checking out the video i do really really appreciate it of course if you like what you see scroll down and let me know by hitting that thumbs up and of course, if you like this content, you want to see more of it from myself, make that big red button grey, subscribe to the channel, get us on the road to 300 subs. It would be fantastic and much appreciated. Until the next video, I'll check you guys then. Thanks for watching and see you next time.